Thank you for coming back to Hook.Mailbox. If you're new, welcome. Everyone keeps asking me how I make these adorable little Christmas boxes. And I had shared them last Christmas when I made them. So I thought I would take you through how I put them together today. This is one that I've already previously done. It's with the Scrap Diva Designs dies. It's the sand pail, which is not meant to be Christmas, but really is very universal and you can use it for every season. So this is what I do. So I just run the pieces through my cuddle bug uh, or your Big Shot or your Sizzix, whatever it is that you have. And I cut apart all the pieces. I actually don't do the handles because I end up putting quite a big tall gift in it typically. I don't do the little handle, but you could cut a handle out and have that on top as well. So the shovel, because Christmas, or not Christmas, but winter has shovels as well, it uh, lends well to both seasons if you decorate it up that way. I can leave a link down below. I think I still even have a discount code for Scrap Diva Designs, but I'll have that all listed for you. So I just cut out all of the pieces. I cut the actual box in a white cardstock, and you can just use any cardstock that you have. That was from Stamping Up. I used this Rosie's Studio paper. It's very thin, which I don't mind because I'm gluing it to a cardstock. So these are what all of the pieces come out like. So you have really nice details on all of the pieces with those fine dotted lines accenting or framing each page, which is always really pretty. This is the bottom piece and then the shovel. And to glue it all together, I just use whatever kind of tacky glue. You can use like a tape runner or red line tape, anything like that. I like the the white glue because it allows for some movement to get things perfectly lined up. So that's what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna go ahead and glue those and then I'll show you how I put it together.
Papa gifts and some stuff to decorate with. I want to put in a hot chocolate and I have these two pairs of socks. I'm going to see if I can fit both of them in. I know I can fit for sure. Actually, maybe we'll put this this way. This is the part that everyone wanted to see is actually how I put it all together. This is like the finicky part. So let's take out hot chocolate to go in it. I like the color of this one. Yeah. So we're gonna put this one here just because of the color. Because <laughs> it's just gonna look gonna look the nicest as far as it will blend in. It's cute. So we just need to decorate the cover. So I picked out some pieces. It's actually a birthday gift. So I picked out some pieces that are kind of neutral. vellum piece. I like the way it looked on the other one. Just gonna add that there. And the mouse is adorable. It can go over top. I kind of want that tail hiding underneath there. Just so that it holds it down. There we go, I don't mind that being loose. That's cute. I've got a little handmade flower. It's like a pretty little flower that I make with a flower punch. And I'll just glue that on there. We'll add some of our gems. And these are pretty colors. Let's do a big one. This one fell off, so we'll just use that. <laughs> Actually, that's not the right color. I don't like that. It clashes. It clashes. I'm going to use one of these ones instead. I always like to do things in threes. That visual triangle. So that will make a cute little accent. So I like the idea of the flowers going up and hanging above a bit. I also like this, actually. Lots of cute things. And this one says handmade with love. You could even do presents down below. I don't want it sticking out too much past the edge because of how it gets wrapped, but I don't mind it going vertically. busy. Doesn't need to be that busy. That's simple. Oh, I could do a handmade with love. Mm, that's nice. Okay, let's just glue that all together. So I actually kind of think I like this deer there instead. I used my tiny attacher to attach a staple on there. 
And I'm going to just pop some stuff up to provide some dimension. So this is just got a little thing like that. pop up this deer as well using my thinnest tape. You can use foam stickers but I find this is faster. Yeah I really like this this deer on there. It's super cute using a little askew look like it's jumping super cute. And then we can come in and add some sparkle with these gifts. There's some stars. Like that. I think we could add one of these. These come off right there if you're not careful. Let's cover up the handmade. I like this trio of things, and this actually provides a little pop to that dot there. So you can see, now I just have to wrap it in some cellophane and we are going to be ready to go. So here is the finished wrapped project. I have added a little bow. The shovel is just tied on with a piece of twine. And it is all wrapped up and ready to gift. I quite often will put a created by Tony on the back. But that's what it looks like so you can see how these are great gift holders for a variety of different gifts for birthday or Christmas. The same collection has been used in two different ways. Here's the Christmassy version. Oh, I didn't put any little things on it. Maybe I'll add one to the top. I really wanted to put one of these. So wonderful. Here we go. Oh, little angel. <laughs> Let's see. What other birthday type warm wishes? Joy. Oh, what fun. Sparkle. Put it there, maybe up there. There. Cute. Just to show you the last finishing touches to complete this gift. I put it in a little gift bag. This one is perfect. It has these gorgeous gold polka dots and it's going to sit up just beautifully above there. I am going to put a little handmade card onto the present and there is the finished product. That is everything. It will be super cute 
to gift this to a fellow paper crafter who will definitely appreciate all of the unique little touches that will help to hopefully make her day special. So thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel and you like this content, go ahead and hit that notification bell as well. You'll be notified every time I post a new video. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you again next time.